Dayton Contemporary Dance Company, which was founded in 1968 by Dayton, Ohio native, Geraldine Blunden, is the oldest modern dance company in Ohio, and one of the largest companies of its kind between Chicago and New York City. History The Dayton Contemporary Dance Company was founded in 1968 by Geraldine Blunden as a performance outlet for students at Geraldine's School of Dance. Blunden picked students from her school for the dance company, acquiring 12 female dancers by 1972. One of these original dancers was Blunden's daughter, Debbie Blunden Diggs, who would later become artistic director of the company. In 1973, the company performed Blunden's ballet, Flight, earning the honor of being the first African-American group to gain membership to the Northeast Regional Ballet Association Festival. The company soon produced its first large-scale performance in 1976, also marking the first time the dancers were paid for a performance. They performed Black Snow, a collaboration with acclaimed composer Roy Merriweather at Dayton's Memorial Hall in front of a sold-out audience. Blunden shaped the Dayton Contemporary Dance Company as a repertory company through her continuous invitations for renowned guest artists to create pieces for her dancers. Young, budding choreographers, including Ulysses Dove, contributed to the growing company's repertory. DCDC's outstanding repertoire includes works by world-class master choreographers such as Elio Pomari, Alvin Ailey, Ulysses Dove, Merce Cunningham, Donald McHale, Rennie Harris, and Tally Beatty. Today, DCDC continues to acquire new works by contemporary choreographers including Bebe Miller, Warren Spears, Diane McIntyre, Shapiro and Smith, and Ronald K. Brown. To further expand its repertoire, DCDC commissioned works inviting Bill T. Jones, Garth Fagan, Dwight Roden and Doug Verone to participate in DCDC's What Dreams We Have and How They Fly. This four-piece program premiered in 2003 to celebrate Dayton's native sons, the Wright brothers' first flight 100 years ago and will artistically explore what the invention of flight means to our contemporary world. 2013-14, as part of DCDC's 45th anniversary, ten new works were commissioned for DCDC by choreographers Kaisha Lalama, Ronan Koresh, Ray Mercer, Donald Byrd, Alvin Rangel, Rodney A. Brown and more. The company's apprenticeship dance corps, DCDC2, was established as the pre-professional wing of the rising touring company under the leadership of Kevin Ward. In 1990, Blunden fell ill and Kevin Ward became the new artistic director of the company. Blunden's daughter, Debbie Blunden Diggs, became the new director of DCDC2. Since, former DCDC dancer Shauna Hickman Matlock has become director of DCDC2. Kevin Ward retired on July 1, 2007, and Debbie Blunden Diggs became the company's new artistic director. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National recognition. 2018 participant in Dance Motion USA's seventh season, touring Kazakhstan and Russia as cultural ambassadors, May 2018. 2016 Dayton City Commissioners cited Dayton Contemporary Dance Company as a true gem city gem as they declared Friday, November 4, DCDC Day. 2016, the 2016 Bessie for Outstanding Revival was presented to Rainbow Round My Shoulder by Donald McHale, performed by Dayton Contemporary Dance Company, and produced by Paul Taylor American Modern Dance at the David H. Koch Theatre, New York the New York Dance and Performance Awards. 2012, the documentary Sparkle, highlighting the career of Sherry Sparkle. 
Williams, a dancer with the company for the past 40 years, was selected to screen at Silverdox, the largest and most prestigious documentary film festival in the country. It also appeared nationally on PBS as part of a larger broadcast show entitled LIFECASTERS. 2012, the company first toured to China. 2011, the company first toured to Chile. 2007, the company was featured in the PBS Dance in America, Dancing in the Light documentary. 2004, the company was selected as a question for the trivia game show, Jeopardy!, as a result of the success of the flight project. 2001, the company was prominently featured in the PBS Great Performances documentary, Free to Dance, produced by the American Dance Festival. 1997, the company was the first dance company selected for the Ford Foundation's Working Capital Fund for Minority Cultural Institutions, a program designed to strengthen leading, mid-size, cultural organizations at a critical juncture in their development. 1988, the company was one of four dance companies chosen by the American Dance Festival to participate in ADF's Black Tradition in American Modern Dance Project, which involved the reconstruction of classic dance works by African American choreographers. 1994, Geraldine Blunden received numerous awards and commendations including the prestigious John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Genius. Fellowship Award 1973, the company became the first African-American group to gain membership to the Northeast Regional Ballet Association Festival. The company has toured internationally to other countries including Bermuda, Canada, Chile, France, Germany, Poland, Russia, and South Korea. Projects and collaborations Topic <laughs> Dance Motion USA twenty eighteen DCDC is one of three dance companies across the United States tapped to tour internationally through the seventh season of Dance Motion USA, a dynamic cultural diplomacy program run through the U.S. Department of State and Brooklyn Academy of Music. Topic: <laughs> China, 2012. The company performed in China to celebrate the grand opening of the University of Dayton's China Institute in Suzhou Industrial Park. Topic: <laughs> Chile 2011 The company performed in Chile alongside Hubbard Street Dance Chicago, Cirque Eloise, and Chile's José Luis Vidal at the Las Cons Municipal Theater. Topic in the spirit of 2009, the company reprised its most popular dance offering ever, in the spirit of, held at the Dayton Masonic Temple. In the spirit of, paid tribute to African-American liturgical worship, complete with a 100-voice choir assembled from local churches, instrumentalists, dancers from both the company and DCDC2, and nationally renowned jazz and blues saxophonist Kirk Whalem and equally renowned gospel and R&B singer Shirley Murdoch. Colorography, N. The Dancers of Jacob Lawrence 2007. The company commissioned new dance works inspired by the powerful paintings of Jacob Lawrence from choreographers Donald Byrd, Rennie Harris, Kevin Ward, and Reggie Wilson. This became the company's second largest touring project. Topic. Lyric Fire 2006. 
The company commissioned Diane McIntyre to choreograph a piece celebrating the life and poetry of Paul Lawrence Dunbar. The clearing in the woods The company united choreographer Ronald K. Brown with noted jazz pianist Mulgrew Miller in an innovative jazz – dance collaboration. The Flight Project 2003. In celebration of Dayton's native Wright Brothers' 100th anniversary of flight, the company invited Bill T. Jones, Bebe Miller, Jawale Willa Joe Zoller, Dwight Roden, and Doug Verone to create new works that artistically explore what the invention of flight means to our contemporary world. This five-piece program was the first and largest touring project the company has had in its history. Topic: <laughs> Children of the Passage 1999. DCDC premiered Children of the Passage by Donald McHale and Ronald K. Brown. This work was commissioned by the National Afro-American Museum and Cultural Center as part of a major project. Topic: Educational Outreach. The company offers lecture demonstrations, workshops, school field trips, and residency programs adaptable for all ages. These educational offerings are available both in Dayton and while the company is on tour. The company aims to use dance as an experiential tool to facilitate learning in all subjects, supporting student success as determined by the State of Ohio Academic Content Standards. <laughs> 